Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I'm in a different background because I'm back at home at my grandmother's house, so I have a different background. I kind of like this background better than what I had at school. It's just a white blank background, but today I have a haul for you guys. It's just a lot of stuff that, a lot of makeup that I've been collecting over the past few months, and I wanted to basically give you a review on all of it. Um, basically all of it is drugstore just a few maybe two products is not drugstore so alright let's just get on let's with it start from how you apply things to your face so we're gonna start with primers first so I know a lot of you have been raving about this item here this is the Nivea post shave balm and Nikki Tutorials if you don't know who she is you can look her up but she's basically what who got everybody on this um, it's supposed to be really good as a primer. It's supposed to make your makeup stick to your face because it has glass serine in, in it. I think that's why. But I absolutely love this stuff. Um, when they say it actually makes your makeup stick to your face, it truly does. If you have not tried this, like, you really need to go th get this stuff because this is wonderful. I have oily skin and I think it actually helps with oily skin. Like, it doesn't make your skin as oily, um, when you have your makeup on. So... This is definitely a thumbs up for me. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. Um, I haven't... I bought this maybe two months, two or three months ago. And I bought it and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, I applied it and it seems like it's supposed to be for normal to oily skin, which is what I have. And when I apply it, it seems like it's not the color of my skin, but eventually it oxidizes on my skin and it becomes the color of my skin. And as far as does it help with oiliness, I'm not sure yet. I'll get back to you on that, but I've been using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, which truly helps with mattifying your skin if you do have oily skin so if you have not tried that and you have oily skin make sure you go get it but as far as this I do like my L'Oreal Infallible foundation better than this but I think this it's okay it's okay it's not great but it's okay for like an everyday foundation um the next thing I want to talk about is the LA Girl Pro Concealer this is the red one um I use this for the discoloration on your skin like if you are darker in one area I usually, I mainly use it around my mouth right here and underneath my eyes, and this stuff is bomb. Um, I'm just going to show you the consistency of the LA Girl Pro Concealer and what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand. So that's what it looks like. It's not too red. It kind of has like an, a little bit of orange in it, but it's like perfect for, you know, to apply the discoloration. It truly does help with that. So if you haven't tried this, you really should go try this because this is magnificent this saves lives okay it's been a dramatic but it's wonderful <laughs> okay so the next product I'm going to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade I did not know how much I needed this until I bought it now I'm like how in the world did I survive without it this stuff is absolutely amazing I have never experienced a brow product as good as this. When people say that Anastasia Beverly Hills is the GOAT for brow products, it's a true statement. Don't underestimate that statement because it is a true statement. Um, I got it in the shade Dark Brown. If you're not sure what it looks like, this is what it looks like. But this stuff, I apply it with um, an angled brush to my brows. And um, I'm going to upload an updated brow routine and I'm going to be using this so just be looking out for that and you can see how I use everything but this stuff right here is bomb like the consistency of it is so smooth it glides onto your eyebrows so well like it's so nice and it's waterproof and it's um it doesn't slide on your face as easily so this is really good and along with that I bought the Anastasia this is the sample size of the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel but this is good too um, I have a brow gel um, that's brown, and it works well too, but the fact that this is clear, it is wonderful. 
So it really does, you know, help not tear, which this already, the Anastasia Dip Brow already helps for the product not to move. But this right here helps for, you know, your hairs not to move and just to stay in place. So it basically just enhances the job that the Dip Brow already does. But this stuff is wonderful too. Okay, let's move on to eyeshadows. So I have three eyeshadows to show you all. So e.l.f. came out with some baked eyeshadows and I have to say that I'm not impressed. When I seen these I thought they were absolutely beautiful and I was so excited to try them but when I got them home they do not swatch well at all. Like I want to show you all how they swatch. So I rubbed my finger all in it. Don't know if you can see that but that's what it looks like. So when I rub my finger all in it and I just swatch it one time I don't, uh, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring it up. Oh, you can't see it. But it does not swatch well at all. Like, it doesn't show up at all. It shows up a little bit, but not as much as I wanted it to. But I have, I do have it on my eyelids now. I have it on my eyelids now. And I experienced around with it and I seen that if you actually apply eyelash glue, just a tad bit of eyelash glue to your to your eyelid and then put it on top using your finger, don't use a brush, using your finger, it actually shows up a lot more. So if you do it that way, it's it's pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but I did use it on my eyelids. So it is pretty once you, you know, add a little bit of glue and then add it on top. And this one as well. This one is the Pixie, which is like a perfect name for that. And then this one right here is Enchanted. So that's a good name for I mean, they are beautiful. You know, they are. I was a little disappointed. But with a little bit of glue, you can enhance the pigment just a little bit. So they're okay. They don't get a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They're just, you know, in the middle. And the last eyeshadow I want to talk about is the, I'm probably going to butcher this, but um, it's the Mana Kadar. Mana Kadar. It's called Mana Kadar Beauty. And I actually, I'm subscribed to Ipsy and I received this in my um, April Ipsy bag. And it's called Fantasy. It's like a pink shade. Um, but it is so, 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 so pretty. And it's so pigmented. Oh, just one little swatch. I don't know. Just, oh, it's so pretty. Just one swatch. That's what it... Um, this is so pretty on, like, I use as an eyelid on just all over my eyelid and just pop on some lashes, some long lashes, and just go. It's really pretty that way. And sometimes I use it just very subtly as a highlight just a little bit. I have it on just a little bit as a highlight here. Just a tad bit. A little bit of too much, you know, because it does have a pink in it, so a little bit too much of this can make your cheeks look weird, but just a tad bit of it is so pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but I have it on my cheeks now. So this is definitely a go for me. So pretty. next I'm going to talk about some new eyelashes that I discovered. Um, I got them from like a beauty supply store and they're called Broadway Eyes. And these are the lashes that I have on right now and I absolutely love these lashes. They're really dramatic. They're dramatic but they're not too dramatic so you know I'm I haven't really tried dramatic dramatic lashes. I haven't tried them yet. I'm kind of scared too but I seen that these weren't too dramatic but they weren't too subtle. So, um, these are number 30, and they're 100% human, but I absolutely love these eyelashes. Like, they are so pretty and so wispy. Can you, I don't know if you can see that, but they are so pretty and so wispy. But I did get them from a beauty supply store, so I'm not sure if you would be able to get them anywhere where you are, but I'm pretty sure if you look them up on Amazon or eBay or something like that, just type in Broadway Eyes Eyelashes, the number 30, and they'll probably come up. But I do love these eyelashes. Okay, and the next thing I want to talk about are lip products. 
So I have four lip products that I'm going to talk to you about today. And the first lip products are from Milani. And I have two lipsticks from them in Nude Cream and Teddy Bear. These lipsticks smell so good. Like they smell so familiar but I can't put my hand on it, my finger on it. What they smell like but they smell absolutely wonderful. But this is the shade Teddy Bear and I'm just going to swatch this for you. It's really, 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 really pretty. And these do have like a satin finish. They're not matte. But there's Teddy Bear. Right there. It's kind of like a brownie nude, like a mauve nude. It has a little bit of brown in it. It's really, really pretty. And then this one right here is called Nude Cream. And I'm just going to swatch this for you. This is a really, really pink, pinky nude. And there's that one right there. I actually have this one on right now with a lip liner that I'm about to talk to you about. But this one is so pretty. I really do like this one. And then what I applied with this, I, I have the nude cream in the middle. And then I have this Wet n Wild um, lip liner pencil. I lined my lips with this and then I added the nude cream in the middle. So this Wet n Wild um, lip liner pencil is in the shade Brandy Wine, I think. Yes, Brandy Wine. And this is so pretty. So I lined my lips with this and put the nude cream in the middle. But I'm going to swatch this for you and show you what it looks like on my hand. So this is what it looks like swatched. So this is nude cream and this is the brandy wine and then this is the teddy bear. Uh, it's kind of dark but it's not too dark. It's, um, it is a brownie nude I will say. This is a brownie nude. Okay and the last lip product I want to talk to you about is I, got, I received this in my Ipsy bag as well. The April Ipsy bag. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And it's in the shade... I don't know. It just says 11. It doesn't give me a name or anything, but I'm going to swatch it. I have not used this yet on my actual lips, but it swatches beautifully. Like it's so creamy. It's liquidy. It's liquidy, but not like a a liquid lipstick where it dries really really matte. But it is, the consistency is so creamy and it's so vibrant and pigmented. It smells, it smells kind of like a mango, but not as sweet as a mango. I don't know, it's weird. But this is what it looks like. It's so, 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 so pretty. Like, I love this so much. I haven't tried it yet and I'm surprised that I haven't tried it yet. I don't know why I haven't tried it yet, but I am going to try it here soon. I just haven't been in the mood for red lipsticks, but I've been... All about my nudes here lately but this is so pretty like I just know that it's gonna look so pretty on my lips but I'll probably use this in a makeup tutorial next so you all can see so just be looking out for that but this is so pretty so for the NYX suede the NYX liquid suede lipsticks I'm gonna have to try some more of these because I love the consistency of this okay so last but not least I'm gonna talk about three brushes that I recently purchased and they're from the Wet and they're from Wet and Wild. Um, Wet and Wild came out with new brushes, a new line of brushes, and they are so sleek and so elegant. Like I love them so much. They're so cute. Um, these are it right here. I love how they're white and they have the pink tips. OMG! Like why have there hasn't been anybody that came out with? I mean, there probably has been, but you know, known brands hasn't came out with brushes like this. And these are so pretty. Like I love white anything. White blush and gold is what I love, and this is exactly what this is. But I have received, I got the, uh, I got the contour brush, which is this one, and I got the small eyeshadow brush, which is this one, and then I got the crease brush, which is this one. This is basically to blend things. I use this today to blend in my crease. I do like this, how fluffy it is, but I feel like the the brushes, the um. The hairs are a little bit a little bit too long because I, I feel like I couldn't get complete control of the brush of how long the um, hairs were. 
but it was still I was still able to you know get my blending shade in there and then I used this one for a contour I'm absolutely in love with this brush for contouring like it gets right in the crevice of your cheek right there where you're right below your cheekbone like it is perfect for that and when I squeeze it together, it's easy for me, since it's so small, it's easy for me to contour my nose with it. So, I'm absolutely in love with this brush. And this, um, the last brush is the small eyeshadow brush. And I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be good. But, you know, I'll probably just use this to um, apply a shade to my lid. That's probably what I'll use this for. But these brushes from Wet n Wild are, they are so soft. Like, you know how sometimes you'll fill a brush and it'll feel soft to your fi um, finger, but when you actually put it on your face, it won't be soft? This is not the case. These brushes are truly soft. And I got these brushes for only a dollar at the dollar store. So, I could not believe that the dollar store had these brushes because I know that they were sold out everywhere that I looked. And I couldn't find them, and then I just went to dollar store and looked for some garbage bags, and they were there. Like, I was so excited. But I will be getting... The other brushes, I'm not sure what other brushes they have as far as for this line for Wet n Wild, but I will be determined to get the other brushes. So, these brushes are wonderful. So, that is basically all for my haul slash review. Um, I hope, hopefully, you got a little bit of information about all these products and hopefully it'll help you out when you go to purchase the products. If you see the products, hopefully, you'll, this was enough information to let you know whether you'll like it or not. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. But if you did like this video, don't forget to um, thumbs up the video down below and don't forget to subscribe. But until next time.